I'm done with this Stockholm syndrome, mate. I'm done with this Stockholm syndrome. You know what Stockholm syndrome is? No Protect idea. the victim. Feel sorry for the victim. I'm done with that. We are we're able to criticize our players if they are not performing. We love them as the Manchester United. They're wearing the shirt. But if you're not performing, of course, you got to take some criticism. 100%, 100%, Mick. And, and I 100%. think, you know, it's about time these players take stock of themselves. They stand in front of a mirror and they look at themselves and they ask questions, you know, where am I? Who am I? What do I want to do? Where do I want to be? What am I doing here? You know, am I making an impact? Am I giving my best? And if not, if not, what are the reasons? Why am I not doing this? You know what I mean? Mm. Because it seems to me that it's like we're a, we're a club that's a man apart. You know, we want the best, but we don't know how to do our best to get the best. It's, it's weird, and um, and and you want to you know you want to crash it on these players. You want to be upset. You want to make arguments. You, there's no defending this. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, we we. I mean, th this is like. It took me two days, and I'm I'm getting a little bit better. It's like therapy talking about it. You can point at so many fingers, there's so many elements, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, you can only take day by day, game by game. But if we don't get points, because if I look at our fixtures, Chelsea, Villa, Bayern, Liverpool, right? And I'm afraid if we don't get any results, that Ten Hag's head will be on the chopping block. Because at the end of the day, you live by this sword, you die by this sword, you know, some people may argue, well, hang on a second, it's not Ten Hag's fault for losing these games. Yes, it bloody is, because it's your in-game management that will cost you, and it's the team selection that will cost you. The team selection cost Ole Gunnar Solskjaer his job as well. So therefore, it leads to the point that is somebody whispering in his ears that say, you must start these three players on the pitch, right? Because that happened under Ragnik, that happened under Solskjaer, you know. I don't know. So we... At the end of the day, Mark, we need a total rebuild. We need new ownership. We need a total rebuild of this this club. Because if you look at where Newcastle was sitting two years ago, almost on the bottom of the league, scrapping relegation, see what a new ownership, a new structure, a new operation can do to your club. Newcastle is a living example. So they basically surpass stuff. We've been just treading water for 10 years. We're not that club yeah. anymore, Mark. We've been stuck in quicksand, Mick. You know what I mean? That's what Every it is, single quicksand. time for the last five, five, ten, ten years, we, we had a problem. We were like, okay, let's sack the manager, bring someone <laughs> new. You know, the players remain, and now we have this mixed bag of nuts. And I have to say nuts because it's it, these players make me feel like they're nutters because they're paid well, they're treated well, and they come in front of a of a stadium filled with fans who support them week in, week out. With the best supporting fans in the entire Premier League. Yeah. And then they play rubbish game after game. 100%. Big up Nick Bell from Australia all the way. Uh, do you fans understand the world time? The word time. Yes, we do, Nick. And rebuild, fight, determination, honor. All these things Ten Hag is trying to do with his players. And I believe... And I always said that, you know, I'm a big advocate for that. But if nothing change above Ten Hag's head, I'm talking about the, the structure above. Nothing ever is going to change with United. I'm a change management specialist, and this is what I do for professional living. So basically, all the way from the board to the mailroom to the dressing room needs to be aligned with the same vision, with the same message to be successful. We're all steering the boat to the same direction. We're all in it for the same boat. Manchester United for the past, I don't know, 10 years, 11 years, sir, since David Gill left and Sir Alex left, has been divided, right? It's been run by bankers that don't understand football and all they care about is making money. So making top four has always been their prerogative. Not winning, just making top four because top four makes you more money. On the other hand, you appointed different managers with a winning pedigree and with a winning mentality that wants to win. But how can you win if the people above you don't want you to be winning, right? Th that's that's the problem. I hope you see it, guys. Right? So big up to you, Nick Bell, as well.